Y'all are trying to give me a nervous breakdown. Her behavior towards everything right now, people are going to get fed up with it. She, I think she's on to them. She's on to them. And nobody wants a cold-ass model on the set. They don't know I didn't shed any tears for them. I didn't show any vulnerability. Why do I feel like she's it's like very personal? I'm sorry, she really is rude and aggressive. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where one of the models is on to the judges. She knows what's going on. And then during elimination, things get very personal. Tyra launches like an attack on one of the girls. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning. Today you're doing a television commercial for Rolito's Chips. Oh Rolito's God. Chips. You girls have the privilege to work with a talented director and owner of most remarkable films, James Gay. James, come out, say hey. We have a script to get through, oh which is God. a little different for you guys. We have a lot to do, so there's no time to be nervous. So Rolito's Chips, that's not Doritos, is it? Different? Is it a different company? Is it the same company, but different? Like a sister to the Doritos? A baby cousin? I'm tired, sick and tired of the commercials. Instead of paying models to do this, they go on a show like America's Next Top Model and they're like, you know what? Let's do it for free. Actually, today we're at the Daryl Roth Theater, home of the show De La Guarda. So we're going to do something Never heard a little of it. different. No. Stop. <laughs> you know. What? What are they doing? <laughs> what is this, the Olympics? Is you girls are in a rough and tumble aerial cat fight, fighting to become America's next top model. But you're fighting like there's only one bag of chips left. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. You're going to have these girls performing stunts. I seriously can't believe this. If I was Rolito's chips, I would not be happy with my portrayal. There is no bag of chips that I would risk my life for. Okay, unless it's honey mustard, I probably, I could consider it. We're doing that. I love Katie. The idea is you he just, he doesn't even answer. He's like, essentially. Fighting to become America's next top model, but you're fighting like there's only one bag of chips left. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just focusing on how angry I am that I'm put in this situation again. Before we did the oh, yes. shoot, I had a nervous breakdown. She's well, afraid of heights. Falling to my death. <laughs> And they're making I'm her do it. something like this again. Fire. That's cool. Corner. Just don't put me up in the Wow. Kate, you have to shut up about this stuff because I'm afraid of heights. Oh my God, I have three knee operations and I'm scared to fall on my knee. But hey, I'm not <laughs> thinking about it and starting breaking up. You outside. should. <laughs> Habibta, you should. Shooting film yeah, takes so much more time than shooting just a photograph. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh my God, if Katie starts dying, I, I just need you to do this. This is so, so frustrating. You know, it's, it's just so much pressure. If Katie starts dying, how convenient that the model who's afraid of heights has to deal with two, uh, a photo shoot and then a commercial involving heights. Mr. J comes out for what? Just to, just to say that filming a commercial takes longer than taking pictures? Who who doesn't know that, Mr. J? Mr. J? Go go back inside, Mr. J. Stop. What's happening here is Mr. J is trying to sell a ridiculous idea. He knows it's ridiculous. He knows that she knows it's ridiculous. So now he has to do damage control. He's like, damn, she's on to us, you guys. Let's smooth the waters over. Okay, tell her a fun fact about aerial combat. I just need you to do this. I just this. need you to so, do this. So Look at his face. He's like smiling. It's, it's just so much pressure. The future is now. All, all this for chips? A bag of chips? We are doing a commercial today. This is a two-fold concept. These okay. girls have to have the ability to do lines and to do stunts. Of course. You do. Yeah, you do. You oh. have the wrong people for this. That's what I want. This is an important day for me because yesterday um, a comment was made. And the sunglasses too. I wouldn't too. win, you know, to be America's Next Top Model because I can't act and I'm not showing my emotions. Well, here I don't have to cry. Would you know that this is America's <laughs> so, Next Top um, Model? I think that I'll do very well in this. Go, girl. You're going to be like flying puppies, girl. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's funny you say that. I love how she casually references that. That's who you should have brought to this commercial, a trapeze artist. Instead, they have Katie who is afraid of heights.
they are trying so hard to convince her all of them all of them are like let's sing her praises and let's she's we have to build her confidence in something that she has no experience in and is not comfortable doing you're gonna be like flying puppies girl uh -huh. Uh -huh. and action mm. What is this? It really looks like a movie. It Where are the chips? It's a real kind of world that we're in, and it's just awesome. It kind of looks fun, I'm not gonna... <laughs> April! That's perfect. April's great. She's great. great. April is really game. She's way on top of it. She stays okay, focused Okay, it doesn't look too bad. The entire time. Camille, look at the intent on um, April's face. Camille was a lot of fun to work with. <laughs> She's athletic. I love Camille. She took direction very well. Great she looks good. Camille. Camille she was looks very good. good. Okay, Katie, are we ready? So far, it, this is not, it's not that bad. I thought they were going to have the girls like doing like a hundred meter dash across this giant piece of paper, but it looks like, it looks a little bit more chill and more relaxed. So I kind of like this so far. It's, it looks fun. I would want to do this. I feel like I could do this now. I love how I was just like, they should have had professionals and I'm like, put me up there. I feel like I could do this. I assume I'm gonna fall to my death. Oh God. Which is a very scary thought. We're okay. We're okay. Oh my God. Katie gets nervous and everything. I really don't even have a great shot on Katie. I've got a so-so shot. She's not even down. filming. He's, he's Katie, just there. He's like, I don't have a good shot of her. Like, are you the director? Are you filming? Are you the videographer? Okay, is that it? Katie is still so young. Was that it? really emotional about things. Are they gonna- no, trying to give me a nervous breakdown. Her behavior towards everything right oh. now, people are gonna get fed up with it. It's gonna catch up with you in the end. Okay, wow. She, I think she's on to them. She's on to them. She knows what they're trying to do. She said it herself. I feel like you guys are trying to give me a nervous breakdown. Do I disagree? I don't, honestly, because in my opinion, I feel like that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to push her. They already pushed it with the giant hole suspending her for the last photo shoot that she did. I'll have a link in the description if you want to watch me react to that episode. That was crazy. They already had her do that. She was crying. She was having a nervous breakdown. And then they introduced this right after that. So what is what are, what are you guys trying to do, America's Next Top Model? Everyone's saying, oh, Katie is emotional about everything. And Katie, she gets scared over everything. She's scared of heights, which I'm sure a lot of us are. I'm sure a lot of us would not be comfortable in this situation. I don't feel like she's being oversensitive, overly sensitive. We're getting ready to do dialogue. This yeah. is like combining modeling. With is it on the and on the, the wall? Kind of character that the dialogue. Three, two, one. In the end, there'll only be one choice. There's like two guys America's in the back on the wall. Where are the chips? Okay, rolling. Yep. And three, two, one. In the end, why are they in like rubber out? What is it? Next top model. Latex. Okay. Latex outfits. Um, let's break it up. For America's next top model. Camille needs to work on her diction. Accent was a little bit of an issue. You gotta fight like there's only one bag of Rolitos left. Mm -hmm. I thought she was Jamaican. Where the hell did the Cuban come from? <laughs> I mean, I'm more Cuban than her, honey. I'm not even Latin. <laughs> I think I did pretty well considering someone told me that I couldn't act. You know, hey, I think I did very well today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In same. the end, there will only be one choice. She's for Katie's done. Next top model. She's done. Katie was a little bit flat in her delivery. So you got to be tough. And she was a little bit monotone. In the end. There will only be one choice. Uno, baby. For America. What is, next. what, what are we filming? This is, first of all, again, where are the chips? Where are the Rolitos? Why are they wearing latex black outfits with sunglasses indoors? Why are there two men in the back of the studio uh, just on the wall running around? Why is everyone in an accent? Spe speaking in an accent. You know, it looks terrible, but they might pull something out at the end. In the end, there will only be one choice. In the oh, end, baby. there or will America's be one choice. Top model. So you gotta be tough. 
Hey, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Tough superhero, not tough Bronx. Yeah. Okay, so no, wait, so now we're superheroes. Gotta watch your back. So what kind of superhero is wearing this outfit? Because I don't know that it's very, it's very movable. Like if we got to go out into the city, run around, I don't know that the latex is going to be, I feel like it's kind of, it will get kind of cramped in there. It's kind of sweaty. You know, you're wearing latex in the sun, direct light. I feel like it's going to, I don't feel like it's superhero material. I'm from Jersey. Gotta I love her. Back. She's <laughs> Thank you. Thank Why you. are they roaring? This, the whole purpose of this was to record a commercial for the chips, remember? And not to scare Katie even more. That's, that wasn't the, it was about the chips, you guys. That's why we didn't see the chips the entire time. But it wasn't about pushing Katie into another nervous breakdown by introducing her fear of heights a second time. That wasn't the purpose. That's not the reason they did this, you guys. It was for the chips. Do the chips even exist? Is What is it? I almost said Tostitos. Rolitos? Is that even a real brand of... Is that even real chips? Wait, is it Doritos? Doritos Rolitos. I knew it. Okay, I take it back. This is a very respectable commercial. <laughs> I gotta see this final commercial. Is it worse than what we think it's gonna be? I say yes, it's gonna be even worse. So now let's see the final edit of the commercial that you guys shot. Yeah, let's see it. The hell is this? In the end, in the end, you'll only be one choice, the only choice. Is that karate? Oh, baby, just one. For America's next top model. Hers was, that was good. So you gotta be tough. You gotta watch your back. Oh my God. And you gotta fight. Like there's just one bag of Rolitos left. This is so chaotic. Why are there like four of them? Just one. But don't worry. There's plenty of Rolitos left to go around. Wow. I have to watch that back because I didn't. That was just too much going on. Too much. Too much going on from the left to the right. People were coming out of the backdrop. People were swinging around. There was dialogue out of nowhere. I love that we see the chips at the very end for like a s one second. Because when I was watching this, I was like, well, okay, okay. Like music video type situation. Had I not known what this is about, I would never have guessed this is an advertisement for a commercial for chips. I would just think it's like a s spy movie. The girls seem to like it, so... I mean, it wasn't bad. It was it's just so, I'm so confused at, as to why we did this. I gotta watch this again. In like, the end, in the end. Who are they fighting? The with each other? The only choice. Oh no, baby. Just one. For America's next top model. They have like a fight sequence. So you gotta be tough. <laughs> could they have the girls, they didn't need the girls to do all those stunts. They could have just, you don't even see their faces really. Look at that bag of Rolitos. It's completely flat. Why does it look like all the air has been sucked out of it? It's like been vacuum sealed. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get a still of that. I have to. I got to pause on the chips. Look at that bag of Rolitos. It looks like a piece of paper. There's not even chips in the bag. So what are they fighting over? That defeats the purpose of the entire commercial. To be honest with you, as a film critic myself, I've watched many movies. It looks like a bunch of crunched up chips in there. I would not be fighting over that personally who is what was that who are they fighting she it just was like this like kicking but there's no one around there's no one around her i kind of like this to be honest <laughs> it's a bit of a masterpiece if if i may say so myself all right now it's time for your individual evaluations everyone and seems happy and pleased with this determine which one of you should be eliminated Tyra, I think I will. I think I'll be the one to say who gets eliminated. Okay? Because I actually was there for the commercial. You weren't. So this week, the actress, Ms. Tasha Smith-Arkees, is going to be administering your test. Today, you're going to be tested on how well you can take direction, April. I'll be giving you a line. The line is, I've never wanted anything more than this. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. I need you to make all a of it. A little dramatic. Once you... That's what? Subject. Think of your man. Put your man's face. That's funny. On our faces. <laughs> I have never. What? 
what is going on? Why do they need her to say a line like that? This is so inappropriate. I'm sorry. These challenges right before judging, they already know who they're sending home, okay? So it doesn't matter if you do well or you don't do well. The result is always going to be the same. The purpose is just they want to make fun of the girls more. They just want to put them uh, through the ringer one last time. This is so wrong. If a model was put in this situation during a photo shoot, best believe that agent would call you up and you would be in big trouble. Let alone these judges for a show. This is national television. They're filming this. Think of your man. Put your man's face. That's funny. On our faces. <laughs> it's not funny, Never. actually. And if I don't get it, I'm gonna die. N did they just pan to Nigel? I need you to make the panel laugh. You have to say that line with that intended objective. I've never wanted anything more in this life. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. You almost made me cry instead of laugh. Okay, then cry. I have never wanted anything more than this. And if I don't get it, I'm gonna die. Oh my God. How is this helping their modeling? Yeah, we're supposed to have the fun. Listen, the fun challenges are okay, but what is the purpose of this? They basically brought in the court gestures to entertain the kings and queens, AKA the judging panel. That's all this is. Please come, entertain, we're bored. Do something silly so we can laugh at you, please. I think because I've personally worked with professional models, it, it's just hard for me to take this as a joke or like for fun because I would personally never put my models in this situation and maybe I'm just viewing it from that perspective. So that's just me. You might, some people might be like, oh, it's just a fun challenge. And if I don't get it, I'm gonna die. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never wanted like anything than this. And if I don't get it, I'm going to die. <laughs> so funny at all. Okay, Kyle. I've never wanted anything more than this. So if I don't get it, I'm going to die. Convince me <laughs> that you're funny. Just once. What is it? Just a comedian? <laughs> like <laughs> Wait, what just happened? All right, you want What just happened? Convince me that you're funny. Convince me this is a legitimate modeling competition how about that how about you the burden of proof is on you guys all right you want it yeah the black and white photo shoot produced by daylux studios here's your best you shot. did oh you did oh that's a cute picture when did this happen <laughs> they did a photo shoot i love how they squeezed in a photo shoot when it's supposed to be the commercial about the chips when the chips showed like only two times when you could have just done the photo shoot to begin with. Listen, I love chips like the next person, but do I feel like we needed the chips? And we needed the fighting over the the empty bag of chips, the vacuum sealed Doritos? No, we we didn't. Very pretty. Beautiful. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. You still need to work on your posture a little bit though. I noticed that Where do you even see her posture? It's literally other. her up here up, All Nigel. Right, Shandy, you had a black and white photo shoot and here is your best shot. It's, it's a good portrait. Bland. Me. How is it bland? It's blank. just her. Watch Tyra, do the blank and then put it in the eyes. Watch her. She can do it. All right, here's okay. the blank. Watch Tyra, this. show us. And watch this. Give it to me, girl. Give it to me. What was that? <laughs> well, I, well, I can't. She was like this. This is this was what she did. By the way, I must say, Tyra is an amazing model. She knows what she's doing. Okay, the demonstrations could have been done in the beginning of the competition. You, when you're trying to now show them what to do halfway in, this is what episode, this is episode six. So you, all I'm saying is it's too little too late, Tyra. Just, you can't, now it just looks like you're showing off because had you shown them these tips, which actually would have been very helpful because Tyra knows what she's doing. She's an amazing model. So just what I'm saying is you just wait till the very end and you're like, you should have, you should, it's so easy. You just do this. Like, okay, just do that in the beginning. Do that episode one. Hi, April. You're smiling today. Yeah. It's great to see you smile. What happened this week that made you so... She didn't have to see know, the judging panel. Smile. Acting and doing a commercial. The director of the commercial said that you did a good line reading, that you're very athletic. You're very athletic. <laughs> you had a photo shoot, and here's your best shot. A it's cute. Androgyny. It's just a, it's a portrait. It's nice. Yeah, take down away the ponytail and she can be kind of a guy. It's yeah. kind of cool. Oh, God. Mm, and that's okay. A thing in modeling that's to good. be able to go that other way because it makes you so much more versatile. Okay. Thank you. Right, Mercedes, here's your best shot. Oh, 
so pretty. She's I, gorgeous. I just, I'm crazy about the fullness of your mouth. Dignified. She's length beautiful. Of your the neck. dignified <laughs> length of your neck. We could have just did like I said. We could have just done that and and not had anyone in the black latex outfits, the rubber outfits, the shiny, the shiny latex outfits, the shiny latex outfits. We didn't have to, and the flat bag of chips. We didn't need any of that. Save the money. Of the commercial said that you need work with your diction, like you were putting on some type of English accent, and you weren't instructed to do that. So you had a black and white photo shoot. And here I love her. Shot. She doesn't care. It seems wow. To like oh my god. These pictures are amazing, you guys. It. This is stunning. I had to literally pause to look at this picture more. It, it seems to be like an actor's headshot. I, I wish you had more neck. The reason why it's so important as a model to really show the length of your neck is because that's what separates you from, say, an actress in a picture. Models are, tend to be longer and more elegant. But I was actually laying down on the ground, so... You have to learn how to lay down on the ground and get some neck. <laughs> Sarah, the look in your mm, eyes... I don't know. The, mm, I feel like they're trying to send her home. She's going home. They would, no, don't tell me that we just saw some of the most beautiful headshots and then they present us with this where she's like doing something like this. No. Sarah is the target today. This photo is not on the same level as all the others. Sarah, the look in your eye, it's just very kind of nice. You need to have a okay, little Okay, thank strength. you. You're so much more beautiful in person than you are in that photograph. And you have to remember that that photograph is what's going to sell you. The half smile is making your face look a little crooked. Like I have a wisdom tooth. I have yeah. like a bad wisdom tooth here. Hi. What? Hey, Katie. Okay, just I love Katie. Yeah, there's that's something it. that you did. She's like, hi. I'd love to see it off your face. Before. Yeah. Oh, that's it. There you go. That's so much better. No. You just needed to be stronger. It's beautiful. Yeah, these are great portraits. But just notice, notice the difference between Sarah's picture and then a picture like this. I think you just needed to be stronger or more innocent. Stronger or more innocent. He was sort of like scared guppy. It looks like Peter Pan. Oh, amazing. Oh my you God. Really you're 18 you years old. 13. Yeah. Peter Pan. Really, really young. Like child. What? Did they? Oh. Damn. Did Janice just say that? Did Janice just say that? I'm pretty sure I can't put what Janice just said in this video. My biggest problem is her body shape, I think. You know, I wouldn't want to see her in a, in, in a swimsuit. Um, Isn't it weird, like with models, it's like a house? Yeah. You don't yeah. have to see her in a swimsuit. Like, who said you're going to see her in a swimsuit, <laughs> Nigel? Nigel! Nigel, who said you're going to see her in a swimsuit or that you... She wants you... Nigel, who said she wants you to see her in a swimsuit? This is secretly such a chaotic episode with the comments. This is too much. There's way too much audacity in this episode. Nigel, Habibi, please. Fakir abil ma tahke. Please, please, heck. So his problem is her body shape. Like that, that's, that's his problem. Her body. He's like, that's what is, that is really the crisis in my life at the moment. It's not the mortgage. It's not the economy or global warming. No. My problem is her body shape. Like, what do you, so what do you want her to do? What do you, what is the solution? What are you suggesting, Nigel? What do you, what do you want her to do? You're like, damn, right, it's totally. gorgeous, but the kitchen sucks. Right. <laughs> Everybody got something, I got something. Mercedes has that personality that she's fun, she's vivacious, she has a really nice energy. But? She's not having meltdowns, you know, like someone else we know. Katie? She doesn't oh. have enough um, She doesn't have that extra something that really pulls me into wanting to know more about Katie. I want so much more out of her. I'd like her to see, like, to put maybe car grease in her hair or streak it with some car pink. grease. She's kind of the girl next door. Ew. But I think America's Next Top Model has to be, like, the girl, like, way over, over there. there. An Down economy. The yeah. Around the corner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm disgusted. Um, Camille, <laughs> she knows everything. And I don't want to work with someone who knows everything. I think the fashion because she knows what you guys are doing sweet, sweet girls and they love the diva bitches right. and they don't like anything in between I'm sorry she really is rude and aggressive but I have to say that she's what? beautiful and I think her drive how is she aggressive far I just want to go come on just go ah! let's let go this whole control thing relax girl okay wait 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 
Now, granted, I've only watched the photo shoot portions from these episodes, but Camille, to me, maybe, and again, maybe I'm missing information, but she definitely doesn't seem aggressive. She just, like, when she explains things, like when she was explaining to Tyra that she was taking the picture, you know, laying down, she wasn't aggressive. She was just simply, she was calm and explaining. She was never, like, super defensive. I definitely did not get that from Camille. So, I don't know. Are the judges... Am I missing something? Am I wrong? Leave a comment. Please let me know. Like for Nigel to say that she's rude. Didn't you just comment on a woman's body shape and say that's her... That's your problem? You know who will never make you fight over a bag of deflated chips? Today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. It's super easy to use and I recommend it to you guys and to my friends and family. Listen, you deserve the best. And I mean in every aspect of life, especially when it comes to websites. And Squarespace is offering you the best. There's, there's no other way to describe. Look at look at these options. They give you an online store. You want to sell your presets, like I'm already doing. My presets are up. You can accept payments through your online store through Squarespace. It's literally all in the platform. And if you don't want to sell presets, you want to sell merch or something else, you can do that on your website. It's easy to do. It's easy to set up. They also offer so many beautiful portfolio and gallery options. So however you want to display your work, you can do that. Say you, you, you changed your mind. Your mind has changed. You want to switch up how your images look on your website. A few clicks of a button. You can add space in between the pictures. You can make the pictures larger, smaller. You can do a photo carousel. You want the pictures to be moving. I mean, anything is possible because it's customizable it's fully customizable to whatever you're envisioning and another thing that they have are appointments so you can literally book appointments through your website your clients can access uh, your services there and you can display your services through through squarespace and also accept payments you can send out reminders the possibilities are endless okay you could do group classes workshops everything through appointments through your Squarespace website, which makes it easy. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. With that being said, let's check out who gets eliminated. And you will not believe how Tyra acts with one of these models. She clearly does not like this girl. My prediction is Sarah is going home. But Camille will be in the bottom two, I think, or Katie. It will probably be Camille or Katie in the bottom two with Sarah. But Sarah will be going home. Let's see if I'm right. I knew it. They put them both in the bottom two. Why is Katie in the bottom two? What did she do? Her picture was perfectly fine. And Camille's picture was really nice. Sarah, on the other hand, I definitely thought she's going home. I was expecting this, but only one half of my expectation. Okay, Tyra, explain yourself. Well, Katie and Camille, please step forward. Okay. Katie, sometimes the judges feel like you are a little bit too commercial, a little bit too safe. Didn't they shoot a commercial? I gave you a haircut that I thought could edge you out, make you a little bit more high fashion. But you may not be emotionally ready to handle the dog-eat-dog -dog world of modern. This is the voiceover clipped in. Camille, this week with the whole acting experience, you didn't open up. But being in the entertainment industry is about vulnerability. And nobody wants a cold-ass model on the set. Even right now, Camille, hard as nails. I'm not going to let anybody see me sweat. Because if I have to pack my bags, they'll know I didn't shed any tears for them. I didn't show any vulnerability. Why do I feel like she's It's like very personal? What Tyra just said to her. That seemed way too personal. Camille, congratulations. What? You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Wow, how how coincidental they do the heights things. Katie's a that's her last one and then she gets eliminated. So they they purposely This I'm poor girl. Just disappointed in myself. They ruined her hair. They gave her the worst makeover ever. They kept her around just enough so that she can participate in the two um, photo shoots that she's terrified of, which are the heights. And then they send her home after they're, they're like, oh, we don't, okay, we're done. Let's send her home. We already um, made use of her. They used her and then they eliminated her. That's all this is. When Tyra was talking to Camille, I feel like that's really what she thinks of her. 
Like, she just doesn't like her at all. She's, like, threatened by her. It's okay, oh, Queen. Kicked out the show. You're too good for the show. I cut off all my hair for this Oh, great. Chill on you. I mean... They shouldn't have cut her hair. Work my ass off. Get to the top on my own. You can do it, Katie. That this girl breaks my heart. Oh my god! Even she acknowledges she's like, I cut my hair off for nothing. That's a life changing thing too. Having your hair cut off and then I don't know if they bleached it or not. I didn't see her makeover, but a haircut like that's gonna take a while to grow back. So it probably was already on top of everything. They changed her appearance, which is part of who she is. So it probably really affected her. I've met models that have bleached their hair or dyed their hair because the agencies kind of suggested it, but they are under no obligation. Like, they don't have to do that. If they, they have a choice whether or not they want to do that. I met a model in Australia, actually. She um, she was a uh, brunette, and then she went to a redhead. And, I mean, I thought she looked amazing. For her, it was a very big change, but she was she wanted to do it. So that's the distinction there, is that she had a choice in the matter, and not something like this where they just surprise the girls and kind of you're kind of forced into it it's, you don't really have a choice because if you don't do it then you're kicked off the show i truly feel like tyra was a little threatened by camille and she sees her as direct competition for some reason this is a very interesting interaction between them every time she's talking about camille it, she's always saying very negative things like she, what did she call her like a cold ass model and then she said, you're not being vulnerable. Like, you don't even you don't even know her, Tyra. You barely know the girl. You see her probably during judging for like 10 minutes. Doesn't mean you know her. But to kind of say all those things, that's not right to me. Leave, leave Camille alone. Leave Camille alone. She's an amazing model. And maybe you're mad about that. Maybe you're mad because Camille is beautiful and amazing. And you don't like that. You want to be the only one. Dude, she roasted Camille in the elimination speech. What did she say? I'm about to pack my bags. They don't know I didn't shed any tears for them. Look at this. Um, tell me, tell me she didn't. She wasn't directly speaking to Camille. Like this is what I think of you. When she was talking to Katie, it was more per, like a little bit more professional. She's like, I don't think that you're ready for the dog eat dog world of modeling, and I just I care about you so much that I don't think that you're ready for this. And I just can't see you go through this any longer. But then with Camille, Tara was like, Camille, oh, you're still here. Uh, okay. I don't know why. Why is she? I thought you were supposed to be eliminated up. Oh, it's the next one. Okay. Um, Camille, you come in here hard as nails. I asked you to entertain me. You didn't make me laugh. And then you try to explain things like, oh, I was, I was laying down. <laughs> Look at me. I'm Camille. I have confidence. I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm not going to shed one tear. I don't want to share all my trauma with the judges. <laughs> vulnerability. Exactly. Like I am when I roast you guys every judging panel. That's I'm vulnerable. Okay, otherwise I wouldn't say anything. You should learn from me. 